So, what do you think of the evolution of music? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it in the middle? The evolution of music is like the start of music. But uh, you know what I mean, as far as hip hop is right concerned. Now? Like, in the hip hop genre. Look, B, to, to, to be honest with you, man, as, as where, I, where I come from, from New York, I heard the early hip hop and I've seen it grow. And I've seen it go to the West Coast. And I've seen it go down to Miami with Luke, West Coast with NWA. Too Short, you know, Ice-T, and others. I've seen it go Philly, Schooly D, Fresh Prince, and a whole bunch of others after that. You know, Cool C, um, Steady B. Ooh, ooh, you got it. Yeah. Cool C. Uh -huh. You know, so I've seen it go and spread out. And, it's, it's, and I appreciate the earlier stuff a lot more. And now it's out there even more, and people... It's still a rhyme. It's still poetry. It's still emceeing. The beats have changed. The topics have changed a little, a little bit, a little bit. You know, because you know, Cool G Rap's been talking about that gangster stuff for a long time too. So, you know, go on, go over here. But it's changed, and um, you know, the youth. It's the youth that make the next sound of music. It's the youth that create this next music so hip-hop is always changing if I, I I could play you something from 1979 that has MCs aka rappers you know what I'm saying people who spit or however you want to call it you know what I'm saying MCs from 1979 earlier than that but from there on through the 80s this this all MCs man and then from the 80s to the 90s. And you can hear how the beats have changed a little bit. And the topics have changed a little bit. And now, 2012, man. People are still doing the same thing. They're still rhyming. The beats have changed a little bit, you know. The tempos have changed. That's about it, you so, know. So who are, who are your top five producers right now? Oh, of today? No, no, no. I mean, like, right now, you know, sometimes you might have a, oh. You can't say that, Joe. Man, you got to put it in sections, man. My old school producers or who do I like today? You know what I'm saying? Because it's All right, both difference. old school and today. My old school favorite producers from the old school. I have a lot, but I'll say, you know, Marley Mar is one of them. You know. Um, gosh. Um. Large Professor, Beat Rock Premier, and uh, uh, I would say Mugs from Cypress Hill. I like those beats. And now? Oh, and Track Walk Quest. All right. Now, um, I like Kanye West beats. I ain't gonna front. Who doesn't? <laughs> I think he's a, I he's think, a monster. I think he's a great producer. Uh, uh, Just Blaze. Okay, I like Just Blaze beats. He's dope producer. Has that New York sound. Uh, feeling him. And then, damn, Gerald, this is hard. I'm sorry, the people asked for this. Uh, I think Ahrab music is dope. He's one of the young, new cats doing it. Um, uh, who else do I think is dope? That's three. Uh, she, she really got me on this one. I haven't really studied these producers lately. But, uh, I had another one. Uh, I just stumped you. You know them. I just stumped you. Yeah, I just, I don't, I just answered them before. I used to really watch out for producers. I said, I heard music. I think Swiss Beats is dope. And, uh, I mean, I can make it easy. I mean, damn, I'm trying to find a really, I'm trying to think of some really dope. You know, it's hard to find, uh, I'm thinking of some of the hardest, 
hip hop joints. Cause I like hardcore hip hop joints producers. Just me personally. I, you know, Dave Getter's great and a whole bunch of great artists that make great music, house or pop, but I'm looking for hip hop. Hardcore though, you know. So I'm I'm I have one more producer. Okay, you know who I like? That Jalil Beats dude is dope. He's new. That new kid, Jalil, Jalil Beats. He did, I'm a boss. And you know who else? Justice League. Bang, right there. That's actually six, but yeah. Justice that League, is six. Justice League go hard. I ain't gonna lie. I could take Swiss Beats out and put... No, know, that's cool. It's just six. I appreciate that. I'm trying to keep that. it current. It took me a minute. And I'm like, wait. Them dudes is nice, B. So what motivates you to continually produce? Uh, music's in my blood. I always had rhythm and I like to produce. And I always heard, I would listen to my records when I was younger and even today and I hear beats and I'm like, them joints are they're fat, you know, they're just some dope beats. They're hot. Um, and I just like to, you know, do my own little things too. Do you have anyone that you're working with currently? No. No headaches. You're not looking for anybody? Nah, not really. Because I work at my own pace, and sometimes people want me to do a lot of stuff, and I, I'm not working like Wait. That. Or sometimes I know people, and, you know, I respect everyone. I'm Listen, I'm the first one to tell everyone, go after your dreams. Don't let anyone ever tell you no. Never give up. Always do your thing. Sometimes people don't feel me. My beats are whack or whatever. It's fine. And sometimes I don't feel other people too. You know, it's, you gotta be honest. It's like, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna work together, it has to be a good chemistry. So sometimes people don't feel my beats, and I understand that. And sometimes I don't even feel my own beats. And, it's, and, and you know, and it's vice versa. So it has to be a good working. Now, if there's someone that I feel is, is great, then I'll, I'll be interested in it. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you know. Uh... And coming from New York, I'm real picky with. Who I like as an MC, you better have some skills. New Yorkers be saying like 50 words in one line, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, double in time joys and metaphors and yeah, you know I, what I'm saying, punchlines. You know what, and I make beats. You know, I don't discriminate, nothing, but I have more of a New York style. I sample, so that's my, my style for the most part. Well, back to what you were saying earlier, I think, I think producers are artists in their own right and all artists that I know take their time. It's at their own take pace. Your time. It's at their own pace. That's when it bubbles nice, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so then you, just, you know, you just I just work on projects and if I have something that fits with someone, you know. Exactly. It's about a chemistry about thing. Yeah. I hate to be Well the reason why I brought it up because I know some people that want want to check for you. They, they, I told them about you. And they're really interested in getting what to... What I'll uh, do is I'll, maybe I'll post some beats up and people could, you know, go online and I'll put a link up. I'll hook you up with a link you could post up and they could check it out there. And if they like what they hear, how can they contact you? Oh, they'll get my email address. Okay, no or problem. leave me a message on the site or something like that. And we could build from there, you know what I mean? But that's how it has to work, man, like... You know, it has to be a chemistry like that. You know what I mean? So you have, you have any advice for uh, up-and-coming producers or people who feel a little fire burning in them to be a producer? You have any advice for them? Yeah, if you're going to be a producer, do it because you love it. Not because you see these people with houses. That's inspiration, but if it's not in your heart, it's yeah. not going to really come out. All the material stuff comes and goes. Yeah. So if you're going to be a producer, you got to love it, number one. And then to be a good producer, well, it kind of helps if you know, if you have rhythm and if you know how to count beats and bars, that, that could help you out, you know. Sometimes people have great ideas. They're great composers. They, could, they, have, they know how to put things together, but they don't know how to put it together, how to make it. So, that's not, you know, that's a great composer, but... It's good to know your equipment, learn how to use your equipment to the fullest as much as you can. You can always learn more. 
and you know just uh, love do it for the love and keep doing it and practicing it and getting better at it and keep doing that consistently and persistently then you really become a really good producer and beat maker then after you do that it's not going to help you if you just keep it at home so then you're going to have to promote your beats and think of be creative and think of different avenues on how to promote your product to promote your beats being from New York I don't know maybe I might think of going to maybe uh, maybe I'll get on my smartphone or computer or iPad and maybe I'll Google where a record label is at and maybe I'll go down to one of the buildings where the record label is at with my CD of my music and uh, you know wait you know try to hand it to the right person or maybe you could go online and look up A&R's you just gotta get creative with it don't be lazy it's right there at your fingertips world is yours it's 2012 bees. It's, a, it's a world wide web full of you could probably you could put your beats online get a link to your beat that's online and become a Twitter follower of Kanye West or whoever and, tr and tweet them the link you just gotta get creative see it you see what I just said it's how easy the shit is not to say that that's it you're on after that <laughs> but you have to really think about creative ways to get your beats out there and try to get in touch with the right people no one's gonna do it for you but yourself I definitely ain't gonna do it for you sorry and with that, Everyday Peoples, we sign it out. <laughs> Peace, G. All right. Peace, Everyday People.